What's going on guys and welcome to the video. Now obviously this is the first like video after like that daily upload challenge. So for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, what I've done was I gave myself that little challenge of uploading seven times in seven days just to see what the effects are of like my YouTube and in terms of like engagement, do my views go up, will YouTube like boost my channel, anything like that. Uh, to be honest, not much changed. Like I got roughly 100 views per video, which is actually much less than a year ago. Like when I just started YouTube, I got quite a lot of views, engagement, stuff like that, and I've noticed that it's slowly going down. And I sort of understand it in a way because like I used to upload purely fitness content, and now obviously I'm trying to like combine like fitness with business and see if I can like create create like a sort of like niche combo of the two. And obviously the people that have subscribed purely for fitness content are like. No, I don't even want to watch this. Why am I watching like business content? So obviously they're gonna either unsubscribe or just not watch anymore, which is very understandable. And like you know, you've got the the right to do so. But I do want to like sort of combine both fitness and business into this channel. And like obviously because now I'm in like a little transition phase where I've got purely fitness subscribers and like no business subscribers just yet. So obviously it's going to be like a little period where it's going to be like rough in terms of views and engagement. So that's why I don't like this little seven day up daily upload challenge. And I've also been promoting this quite a lot on my uh, Instagram, just saying like uh, upload two or seven, upload three or seven, you know, like sort of like keeping everyone up to date on the challenge. And I got quite a few DMs saying like, uh, if your engagement doesn't go up, like are you going to consider like quitting YouTube or are you going to stop YouTube or you know what's going to happen after the challenge, stuff like that. And to be honest, I am probably not going to stop YouTube at all. Like, I probably won't stop uh, like ever because I do love the whole uh, like YouTube has taught me quite a lot of things. Like definitely in terms of thinking outside the box, getting outside like my comfort zone. It's also like uh, sort of it's it's like it's improved my communication skills. It's improved my editing skills. It's improved my creativity. Like it has brought me quite a lot. And definitely in terms of getting out of your comfort zone, like obviously it is awkward walking outside with a massive camera like that on a selfie stick. Like it does, uh, like there's a lot of people that wouldn't do that. And at first you, you're so self-conscious, like you don't want to do it and you feel like everyone's watching. And then when you look back on the tape and you look at like where people are looking, no one's like really asked. But at that moment in time, it's so awkward. And like obviously as time goes on you do it more often you're not as bothered anymore what people think about you and you realize that no one's really looking at what you're doing no one's even watching your videos like the very first video you upload you're like you're so stressed out you think oh my god everyone's going to see this what is everyone going to think of this like you know uh, people going to hate on it uh, you know what are they going to say anything like that and once you do it, you realise that no one watches that first video and everyone's video, everyone's first video is bad. And you just get better as you go along. Like, if I watch this video now, in a year's time, I'm going to be like, oh, did I actually upload this? You know, like, it's, you just get better as you go along and obviously you get more into it, you feel more comfortable with it, your editing skills go up as well. And like, maybe along the way you can buy more equipment, better equipment. Like, I've already improved my camera. Like, I had like a little point and shoot camera. I've still got a point and shoot camera now, but a slightly better one. I've got a Canon G7X Mark II, and that's slightly better than the, can the camera I had before. So, you know, slight, slight little improvements along the way. And another thing that I've, I've, I've learned, like, on YouTube, or just learned, like, doing this whole, like, content creation thing in general, is that the, the people that support you outnumber the haters, like, by a mile. Like, uh, obviously, like along the way, there's going to be a few people that comment, like hate comments, like "What are you doing? Why are you doing this?" or like "Your videos are crap" or whatever, you know. Or even like I used to support like quite a lot of channels. Like I used to leave a comment under like quite a lot of channels, just saying like, you know, keep it up, keep going, keep up good work, stuff like that. And then people were, like would comment under my comment saying, like, "Why are you commenting on this video? Are you trying to get us to click on your channel or stuff like that?" I'm like. No, that's not even what I'm trying to do, but people think that I'm sort of hating on that comment and I'm trying to support on the channel. And but like the support outnumbers that by so much. Like there's so many people that saying like keep it up, keep going, I like what you're doing, I like the way you, you you've kept it up, the consistency and you know keep going and good things will come and that the support outnumbers it by so much. So if you think of like making a YouTube channel or creating a YouTube channel or creating videos in general, don't let the haters stop you because there's, there's, there's so little hate on YouTube. Like obviously there is a lot of hate, but there's so much more support than there is hate. Also a quick little side note, in terms of the likes and dislikes, obviously everyone's gonna like, want you to like the video, but if you dislike a video, or if you notice someone has disliked your video, 
your views actually go up because that is engagement for your video so youtube counts that as a view so don't feel bad when you get dislikes because that just helps your engagement go up also in terms of like getting out of your comfort zone like youtube had put me in like certain situations where like i would never have been in if i would never have started youtube like i have met people from all over europe like i've met a guy from mallorca who like supports my channel and we follow each other on instagram and stuff like that i've met people from all over holland we've done like collaborations we've done mad like challenges like the 10,000 calorie challenge uh, we've also gone I've also, I've also like drove all the way to germany for a fitness expo which is something like i would never have done before i started youtube got in this whole like fitness community and just done like mad stuff you know like yeah, skydiving 10,000 calorie challenges like i already said uh, video, like filming in public, going into random gyms, stuff like that. Like that's been an incredible experience, and I think that just, uh, like, I'm just so, so not, not proud, but I'm just so happy that I've, I've started like a YouTube channel and I've actually done something outside my comfort zone. And also, like I said before, like my communication skills and creativity skills have gone up by so much ever since starting a YouTube channel. Like if you go to my very, very first YouTube video. Like you can tell, I hate it. I hate talking to a camera, it's horrible. And also like in uni and school and stuff like that, like my presentation skills weren't really that good. Like it was always something I struggled with, is communicating and talking to like talking to people and stuff like that. And now to be honest, like I know I'm talking to a camera in my room, but I am sort of like talking to like roughly twelve hundred subscribers, something like that. So like you sort of slowly get over that fear of talking and communicating and presenting and stuff like that. So um I thought I'd done a like caffeine mode where the screen doesn't go off. But uh, yeah, so that has that has improved and also my creativity skills, like my editing skills have gone up by so much and that is something that I wanna pursue and keep like keep improving and actually wanna uh, create like a business out of creating content for companies and that's what I've also started with Brand Paneer, which is also something that I probably would never have done without like having YouTube as a sort of like base to like uh, improve my skills of editing and content creation in general. Anyway guys, this is a very ranty video, I know, it's because I haven't really got a lot of time to create like a really high end, uh, high quality type of video because I am doing it, but behind the scenes, so more is gonna come soon. I hate when people say that, you know, I hate when people say, oh, more to come, but this time it is actually true. Like I am creating like an, uh, a promo video for Brand Paneer and all my time is going into that, so that is why I've just got a little update type of video for you guys today so make sure you like stay subscribed and make sure you keep watching my videos because more is coming soon anyway guys that is all i've got for today like share comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one gotta do what i gotta do